Welcome to video number four. We're going to discuss how to help. So now that you understand the whole process of how do you figure out what kind of value to add, let's start by asking a question. And that question is, how can you help the customer or how can you add more value to the video course that you purchased with private label rights? So let's talk about practical terms because we talked briefly about kind of the fundamentals. So this is how you begin to succeed. Maybe you can add another video, like a bonus video. Maybe there is a video course that's 10 parts and maybe it's missing a part and you've written it down and maybe you add another video, like a bonus video. And truly you would only know this if you actually went through the video courses yourself, right? There's always something that stands out as you watch something. You know, well, I wish I could learn this, or why isn't this in the video course, right? You should ask, why is this not here? What is this? Or where is this? So why or where and all that? There's always going to be a question. And as you begin to ask those questions, you can fill those gaps with extra value that your competitors will not do. If you're doing this, great. All your competitors are not doing this. In fact, I commend you for even watching this. So most of your competitors don't do this. So you typically don't even have to worry about 80 or even 90% of them. If you're doing this 90% or even 99%, even if they're violating your rights, if you follow this blueprint exactly, then you don't even have to worry about them. Don't even worry about them if they're price killing you. I really want you to think questions like, maybe this course is really good but it needs additional information such as a checklist, a workbook, something to help people take what they learned and actually apply it. You could take notes, look at the transcripts, see what golden nuggets stand out. You could create a action workbook. What, pe what do people need to do in terms of next steps so that people can take what they learn and truly apply it and succeed. You see that right there? As long as you understand that you want to help people consume the product that you're selling to them succeed, then guess what? You're going to figure all these golden nuggets, probably more than me right now. And probably many of you are thinking of a lot of different things. So jot those ideas right down. So perhaps in the video course, something is explained, but it is not very clear. So you could create an infographic that clarifies and gives value added information. So maybe as I'm teaching this video course right now, you're thinking, oh, I can create an infographic out of that, right? Go do that, add that value. Or maybe you're watching this video course and you realize that another video course could be created, sort of like a sequel or a part two. You could do that and that would actually help you sell. I mean, think about it, you could set that up as an upsell of this video course. And you could essentially sell that and you could do a part number three, part number four, or maybe as you watch it, you feel uneasy because something else is missing. Figure out what that is. Does that make sense? Can you now see how, you know, just by going through the video course itself, you can begin to see nuggets of value that you could potentially add in. And by adding these value points, you can also sell these on your sales letter to show people that you're not just selling the exact same course as everybody else. In fact, you have something different, something better. Now, let's say, for example, that you're selling a piece of software. Most of the time, as far as videos related to software, software is what speeds things up. Video courses typically tell you the manual process of the software. So what you could do is if you Let's say, for example, bought a piece of software that had private label rights on it. What you could do is create a video course that shows the slow, tedious manual process of what the software can speed up and you can add value and you can give that video course away for free. And when people consume that, they feel like they've gotten value that they want to go buy the software. So that's a little bit of an idea that you can use in other private label rights packages. So once you figure this out, you need to begin to jot down what this looks like in your own situation. 
what does that look like to you in practical terms? If it's a checklist, a workbook, an infographic, or an extra video. Let's say, for example, that you're applying a specific video, let, let's say an email marketing course, like the example that we used earlier. Let's say that you want to apply that to a very specific niche. What you could do is add an extra video or a checklist that caters to that specific niche. Now you need to think about who is going to create this. Are you going to create this or is somebody else going to create this? Are you going to hire an article writer to create perhaps the written portions or are you going to do this? Are you going to create the video or the bonus videos or are you going to outsource this? Whatever you decide at the end of the day, you need to figure out your next steps. So you can go ahead and do that now. Now to help you along the way, if you were to hire somebody like an article creator or a video creator, then oftentimes you can find these types of people on upwork.com or even fiverr.com. And of course, if you don't have any money to do this, you should be doing this yourself. Now, while it does take a little bit of time out of your busy schedule, at the end of the day, this is what you need to do in order to survive and make sure that that particular private label rights product lasts for many, many years to come. 